so, the people have spoken and they want more ridiculous alt trails reviews. Okay. But we are doing them in the form of a guessing game. So here is your kind of card of hints that you get. You can have one hint for a fill in the blank where you can get the first letter of the word that should go in the blank. For multiple choice questions, I will remove one answer for you and then you have a guess between one or the other left instead of two other possible choices. And then third can apply to either one, it's a mulligan, you can guess a second time. So for all of these, you get one guess, but you can use your mulligan and get a second guess at the fill in the blank or second guess at the multiple choice. Sound good? Okay. So the first question we will do just to practice, get a feel for the game. It won't count against you, but there'll be 10 questions that follow and we'll count 70% as winning. That's like a C. So 70%, you get seven out of the 10 right, you consider it a win. All right. The first question, this first All Trails review is for the Appalachian Trail. Remember, this is our practice. And it's for the entire through hike, not a section of it or a certain state. The entire Appalachian Trail. Okay. This person gave it one star. Did they give it one star because A, it was too hot and really long, B, it was too cold and really crowded, or C, it was too muddy and really boring? And you've got, just in case you don't remember, oh, you I, can, I can look in your direction. You can look in my direction. I've got the answers on this side. You have a reminder or written version of what I've just said in front of you. I was trying very hard to be self-controlled and not glance over because I can't see when you showed me. Are you serious? <laughs> What was it? A. A, it was really, okay, it was really hot and really long. I would have guessed A or C, the most closing reason. Okay, how should I hold it so that I don't show The way you're more. doing it now is fine. See, this is why we need to practice rounds, so they don't mess up the whole game. It worked out. Uh, Typical while woman. While we're practice rounding. Oh, thank you. Just a large spider, nothing, nothing too big deal. Are we using a spider no, with this? All right, game officially begins now. No more accidentally flashing the answer to you. So this question is for Roan Mountain, and this is off of the AT. It's in North Carolina. Right? North Carolina, Tennessee border. Roan Mountain, this person gave it one star. Is it because the trail was covered in A, ice and snow, B, potato chips, or C, vomit? Okay. So if they weren't joking and they're just stupid, it was A. All trails reviews get really stupid. B and C are clearly jokes. I'm gonna say you're not gonna do A twice in a row. Okay. So I'm gonna say potato chips, B. You're wrong, it was vomit. Someone gave Roan Mountain one star because the trail was covered in vomit. And you made up potato chips. I made up potato okay. chips, because I thought that was funny. Somebody I should have complaining. known you wouldn't make up vomit. No. It's not really a joke that <laughs> you would make. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Ravencliff Falls, you've been there, we've been there. This person gave it one star because A, the bridge was jam-packed with narcissistic TikTokers, B, the trail was saturated with pompous college students, or C, the parking lot was overrun with mangy mutts. Whoever this person is, like they just have a salty outlook on life, but they yeah. gave, Ravencliff one star for this reason. Well, I think you wrote C. Okay. Where's where Ravencliff? Uh, Caesar's head. Caesar. Uh, somebody describe <laughs> what would somebody on a trail be doing to get themselves described as pompous? <laughs> However, narcissistic TikTokers—that's just not too long. Right, but it it does depend. I'm not trying to give you hints or anything. You didn't ask for a hint, but it depends on the time frame when this review was left because some of these go back multiple years before TikTok was popular. It could be during the college graduation too, in which case it's pomp as a circumstance. Mm -hmm. So you're guessing final answer. Oh, this, uh, this is a bit of a gamble. I'm going to go, gonna go with B. Okay, you are correct. This trail is a joke. If you're into Furman students, uh, car campers that wear North Face and Patagonia fleece pullovers, which is so sad because two of my favorite fleeces are Patagonia and North Face, then you've found your slice of heaven. The trail is saturated with that pompous demographic. 
If you enjoy hiking, mountaineering, and real outdoors, don't go here. The person who wrote this was probably a pompous hiker. Takes one to know one, right? Yeah. But just for reference, ones like the Rhone Mountain, I couldn't read you the whole review because that was the whole review was. The trail was covered in vomit. Yeah. So for ones that have more context, I will read it afterwards. But I can be getting out of context. One, oh yeah, that's that's part of the trick here. Okay. I actually have to make a disclaimer here. If your children are in the room, now is your chance to send them out of the room because the next couple of reviews here on out are getting into some interesting behavior. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, so this next one, Sam Knob Trail. They gave it four stars. Do you know where Sam Knob is? I don't know. It's right near Black Balsam. It is off the Blue Ridge Parkway. So this person gave Sam Knob four stars. He saw a couple doing what? A, doing their taxes. B, having a picnic, or C, doing their taxes. So he gave it a four star review. Mm -hmm. So he's not necessarily mad about what he saw. <laughs> I would be interested to know if he would have given it a three star, but what he saw made it a four star, or if he would have <laughs> given it a five star, what he saw made it a four star. Yeah. Or maybe he would have given it a one star and seen a couple doing their taxes <laughs> and then made it a four star. He didn't like the trail at all. He just... Uh, he got a hike in the show? Well, maybe. He would get another one star and seeing a couple actually doing their taxes. He was like, man, young people are so proactive these days. I have hope for the future. Um, all right, I'm going to say doing their taxes. You are correct. Well, a couple was at the top and angry yellow jackets coming back down. What else can you say about a trail that makes someone's heart pound in so many ways? Okay, this trail, Black Balsam Knob, is right in the same neighborhood. They gave it three stars. They said it's scenic, but full of youngsters and they're blank. They left blank, blank on the trail. So I gave you a hint here and said they left something in a certain way on the trail. Okay, so I've got to guess all three words or it's all one word? Remember, you have a hint, so I can give you the first letter of each word. This one was too funny not to include. It's also kind of mad with it is. It's scenic, but full of youngsters and their friends. They left butts stupidly on the trail. <laughs> they left their own butts on the trail. <laughs> stupidly. <laughs> Are these your actual guesses? No, I'm just doing math books. <laughs> um, let's see. Youngsters and their drugs. Youngsters and their... It, Jordan, you're going to... Rap music. <gasps> you got the first blank! Youngsters in their rap music. Oh my gosh, okay. So was the youngsters in rap, rap music possibly being said ironically, ironically in this situation? I don't know, but the second sentence, yeah, I don't think you can do say with... is a is a symptom of listening to rap music. At least I sure hope not. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be one of Okay, the first blank, the first letter is P. And the second one, the first letter is S. It'd be really funny if they left their poop blankly on the trail. Um, What's the verb or description of how you apply poop to the trail? That's still the word I can't use on video. <laughs> this word is not inappropriate, Jordan. <laughs> Scattered? Close. We're going to give you this one. It was youngster scenic, but youngsters in their rap music. They left poop smeared on the trail. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. But you know what? Like, I've seen some scary stuff myself at Black Balsam Knob. There was one review where a guy said that he can't unsee the man walking his cat. All right, our next one is the Iron Mountain Trail in Virginia. Okay. They gave this one star. Is it because they got followed by a ranger, which was super annoying? B, they met some bear dogs, which was kind of scary. Or see, they stepped in a cat hole, which was not funny. Okay, so I'm going to guess based on all of these, uh, based on two of these, that this is a one sentence out of a longer quote. The, the review itself is a single sentence. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Met bear dogs, I feel like, would require some extra explanation. <laughs> I mean, unless they just met some dogs that they think look like bears or bears that act like dogs. But in which case, if you're leaving a review, tell people what you mean. Maybe. Buy a bear dog? Yeah. Bear dog. Okay, so I'm going to eliminate B. So I'm going to go with C. They stepped in the cat hole, which is not funny. You are wrong. They met some bear dogs, which was kind of scary. And that's it. That's it. It just says, met some bear dogs, comma, kind of scary. Opossum Creek Falls is our next one. That is in Oconee County. We have been there Naked Man many Falls. times. That's where I proposed, and that's where we took my mom to go see the incredible waterfalls, and she saw a naked man bathing who was not ashamed nor moving anytime soon. And you've kind of given away one of your answers here as, as being false. A nice, peaceful trail to the falls and Chattooga River. There are a couple creek crossings but I managed to stay dry. If you're lucky, you might see A, kayakers floating down the river, B, a naked man bathing in the falls, or C, white squirrels sitting in trees. Guys, hush. Bear, hush. Go lay down. I'm telling you, buddy. Bear could have woken up again like that. Bear has been having night terrors. Or day terrors yeah. or something where he jumps up in the middle of a nap and starts barking and then it alarms Nora and they both start barking. Nobody is super lucky to see kayakers going down the river. Like you know, like you, you don't go kayaker watching. You know, take your binoculars out and look for kayakers. You don't? Some people might. They might have a lot of <laughs> um, So... I'm going to say B, and I'm going to say that the person who wrote this is the naked guy that you might see. You are incorrect. <laughs> it was A, kayakers floating down the river. I'll read you the review. A nice peaceful trail to the falls and to the river. <laughs> if you're lucky, you might see some rafters or kayakers floating down the river. If you're lucky, you will see kayakers. All right, this one is for Linville Gorge. Is that all you got, Luke? This person gave it one star. Is it because A, he couldn't cross the river, B, his GoPro went over a cliff, or C, he lost his big toenails shortly after? Okay, well, I'm intimately familiar with this trip. Oh, are you? Yes, and I know that third one's a joke at my expense, or it might be a <laughs> mislead. Because um, I still have two partial toenails. So I'm guessing. Not being able to cross the river. Is that something that somebody would. Do? Think about the type of people that, that write all trails reviews and the stuff they write reviews about. That's fair. Yeah, I'm going to say A. You couldn't cross the river. You are correct. He gave it one star and said, bridges out, loop cannot be done. Well, I can assure you that we did. And in fact, this review came from several months before we did our hike, so can be done. I crossed the river while losing Tony. All Trails needs to remove this hike. Seems to possibly be a small footbridge at a choke in the river, but it had just rained a lot. Couldn't find a safe way to cross near Spence Ridge. Anybody who is looking into the, is that all you got loop though? Like that is such common knowledge and has been for several years now that that bridge is out. And there's an entire like Linville Gorge forum, website, whatever community with its own website that explains you can cross if it is below this many CFS cubic feet per second. But if it's above it, don't attempt it, make different plans, do a different route. But we went across when it was 80 CFS. It was fine. We swam across. It was chest neck deep. But yeah, people just, they are like, no, no one should ever be allowed to do this hike ever again because there's an inconvenience or it could possibly be dangerous and no one should be allowed to manage their own risks for themselves. Yeah. We have another one from Linville Gorge. This is Daffodil Flats Trail. He gave it three stars because his girlfriend was being a what? I'm assuming nothing that has to be censored. Is there something that could have to be censored? 
All right, well, there's the obvious. Um, and if somebody's going to go write an angry review about a nice place, they might have an angry word. Um, there's a lot of other creative words that can be used, but those wouldn't be super common. I guess I just gotta, I guess I just gotta go for it. Mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. And on the All Trails screenshot, I bleeped it out with a little kitty cat wearing a witch hat, so. This one is for Yona Mountain, which I was at recently. They gave it five stars. They said, beautiful hike, but sadly, we were surrounded by blank at the top. They did not have blank, and they had to wait for help to arrive. This is extra context. It was pitch black by the time rangers arrived. I think I have a good idea of what the first one is. Mm -hmm. um, I believe they were surrounded by wolves. Uh -huh. Sometimes I open my big mouth and I, I mention reviews. So if I'm trying to deal with a group of wolves, what do you need? It's like the guns. Um, like okay, broader term for guns. We'll help you out. Yeah, they had no weapons and it was dark, pitch black by the time the rangers came and got them. Having been to Yona myself and camping up there during a not busy time, I just wonder, like with how highly trafficked this trail is, how true the review is, like how true the story is. So I'm going to say, I think this might be a minor troll. You think it is? They gave it five stars. Nobody's going to get surrounded by wolves and get stuck for like the better part of a day until a ranger can rescue them, then go home and take the time to give the place a five star review and be like, hey, this place is beautiful. Other than, you know, all being killed by the wolves. Yeah. Maybe it's like the same context as that Kanye tweet from a long time ago, I'ma fix wolves. Yeah. We don't know. Oh, crap. Maybe Kanye fixed the wolves. Our last one is another review for Yona. This one made me laugh. I just had to throw it in there. They gave it four stars and they said, highly trafficked, clear views off the main trail, but campground at the top is basically A, a trash dump, B, Burning Man, or C, a zoo. All right. So I could go for pride and just try to guess it. But the game's on the line. So let me use my 50-50. Okay, we will eliminate a zoo. So it's either a trash dump or Burning Man. I'm going to say most likely a trash dump. You are incorrect. No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't put any rules that you couldn't use more than one hint on a question. Okay. What's your, what's your guess? Uh, is it possibly the only guess left? A burning man. Yeah. He says heavily trafficked, but nice and well marked trail. Campground at the top is basically burning man. That's a nice clear view off the side of the main trail. All right. Count them up. How many did you get? Seven. All right, you passed. Yeah, Good job, scratch student. Almost picked my nose back. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed these ridiculous all trails reviews. If you happen upon any ridiculous all trails reviews, feel free to share kind of the summary or gist of them in the comments. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I can't wait to see you again next time. Trace in my footsteps through the way.